Hello, this is Spencer Curran with OnlineChessLessons.net. Today I will be continuing with our exploration of the French defense. e4, e6, d4, d5. And this time we're going to look at the Tarash, defen uh, the Tarash variation of the French defense. Uh, this is a line that's been becoming a little bit more popular in recent years. Um, I am going to not recommend it for white. Uh, I think that this is actually a very uh, good line for black. Uh, and actually, uh, Grandmaster Jesse Cry, who's one of the leading American proponents of the French defense, agrees. Uh, he, he's uh, done a video saying that the Tarish defense is very comfortable for white. And in fact, even uh, Stigvert Tarash, the world champion chess player who uh, the opening is named after, even he, after playing around with it a little bit, ended up deciding that knight d2 is not a very good move, and he switched away and did other things. Um, so what's the point of knight to d2? Instead of playing knight to c3, say, well, I guess the main point is it avoids the winnower. So if white is afraid of the winnower, he might play the Tarash variation knight to d2. But the problem here is this bishop is blocked in, and the queen is no longer defending d4. So when white immediately plays c5, uh, this pawn is in a lot more danger. So he has to defend it. Say something like this. Um, white might play, say, knight to e2 here, knight f6, e5, knight to d7, knight f3. And now white has the d4 square very well defended. He's got a pawn, queen, and both knights defending it. But look at this bishop. This bishop's blocked in by the knight. How is it going to get into play? I mean, I suppose one thing it could do is, uh, af after black plays, say, bishop to e7, I suppose he could fianchetto this bishop. But w what's that going to do for you? This d5 pawn's not going anywhere, so the, the range of this bishop's going to be pretty limited. And... As white in the French defense, I don't think you want to limit the activity of your light-squared bishop. Because one of the major themes in the French is that black's light-squared bishop is trapped and almost useless for most of the game. So white having a light-squared bishop active and involved in the game is going to be a big advantage. And that's one that I think white should try to take advantage of rather than trapping his bishop like this. So another option for white, you know, let, let's say that black plays knight f6, e5, uh, knight f3, say, bishop to e3. Now this is the uh, Korchnoi gambit that we're going into, queen b6, castling. And White's idea here is he's going to give up a center pawn. I mean, you can see Black can just win a center pawn right here. But the idea is that Black's king is still in the center and White has a faster development. So White's going to try to take advantage of that as much as possible. Black is going to play knight f3 which attacks the queen, defends e5, defends the bishop on e3. Black will have to retreat the queen. So we can see white has pretty free and active piece play. Both of the bishops are out, they're active, the knight is well placed. He's safely castled, he has... He's more likely to be able to control the open c-file, which could be dangerous. He'll have control over the e-file. He has all of these open files right here. So, white does have some compensation for the pawn, but I really just don't think it's enough. There are a lot of more dangerous gambits that white can try to play, uh, which I'll probably go, go over and analyze in later videos, such as the Alyakin Shethard attack and the Milner-Berry gambit. 
And I, I really think that as black in this position, you can just kind of sit around and wait for the end game and take this pass to deep on to victory. So those are the two main lines of the Tarash variation in the French defense. I don't think they really pose any significant problem to black. They seem very comfortable to me. I'm always happy to face them. I don't think I've ever um, come out of the opening with without a significant advantage against the Tarash. So until next time.